on my way down here, I thought like, wow, 33 and a half years ago, I was sitting, not sitting, I was standing on the campus here in Fontainebleau receiving my MB award. And I don't know what you're feeling now, but I, in those days, was proud. I was satisfied. I was happy. Um, and that was well deserved. And to you, it is all very well deserved to feel proud, happy today. Um, I know what you went through. It was a year of stress, a year of hard work, a year of lots of fun, and a year of learning. So when I was asked to prepare this speech, I said, what can I share with my future fellow alumni? Or what can I share that I've seen over those 33 years in business that makes INSEAD alumni different? So I have two messages to share with you today. One is a recommendation, and one is an invitation. The recommendation goes as follows. From here on, all of you will leave. Some will go to the private sector. Some will go to the public sector. Some of you will be entrepreneurs. Some of you will go to the corporate world. Some of you will stay. Some of you will go to other countries. What is so important is that after those 33 years and having interviewed multiple hundreds of candidates, hired multiple hundreds of people, I noticed that as you're sitting here, I want you to be aware that you are the only MBA students in the world that have experienced diversity at work during 10 months. That makes you absolutely different from all your other MBA colleagues in the world. So you will leave here and soon you will be leading teams, you will be leading organizations. Given who you are, you are uniquely placed to be successful under one condition, that you become excellent, inclusive leaders. Because it goes as follows, as Ilian and Urs were saying, diversity by itself does not deliver anything. It is how you lead diversity that you get extraordinary performance. You have been exposed to the laboratory of diversity during one year. And it's a unique skill, but only if you decide to continue building your inclusive leadership skills will you remain successful. And these are six C's. I have many conversations with mentees and people working with me about the six C's. Six C's that lead you to excellent inclusive leadership. The first one is curiosity. Curiosity is about asking real questions about really listening to the person you talk to, about being able to hear not what that person says, but how that person says it. And it makes you uniquely positioned to take a different angle, to be good at taking different angles, and live with me and the other person that ambiguity of values. Secondly, inclusive leaders are very cognizant of themselves. I'm standing here in front of you and I know who I am. I've worked on it. And what that does is by being cognizant of yourself, you can self-regulate as a leader. You are aware just when you're going to go overboard because it's you, but you are aware of it and you become extremely skilled at self-regulating and taking decisions that the people in your teams and companies will say, that was a fair decision, Dirk. How did you do that? Because I put myself in your shoes. Cultural intelligence. You're going to go read multicultural teams. I'm not going to go into this. INSEAD is your best experience in learning multicultural experience. Be aware that the cultural dimension that Ilian and Urs refer to is for you an asset that is priceless, that you've been living together and working together. Curiosity, cognizance, and cultural intelligence is not enough. It has three more characteristics. One is called collaboration. Easy to understand, difficult to do, because it's about empowerment. Empowering people that are very diverse from you is a courageous decision, but you have to be able to do it. Commitment. 
as Ilian and Ruth mentioned, it takes commitment to diversity as a leader. What does that mean? You are standing up and saying, I believe in diversity and inclusion, and I'm going to make this work. And my personal values, your personal values, should be aligned with what you're saying. Don't be in the, behave differently from what you say. And secondly, you're in a business. Show your organizations how diversity and inclusion contributes to the success of your organizations. And last but not least, C number six, and that is called courage. And if you do the other five Cs, curiosity, cognizance of yourself, cultural intelligence, collaboration and commitment, actually you turn out to be quite humble. That's one of the characteristics of really good leaders. Lastly, bravery. It means that when you see something you do not agree with, you do not stand on the sideline. You step up, express your opinion, have a difficult conversation, get through the conversation, take a decision and move on. Six C's make you unique because you've been exposed to this laboratory of diversity and inclusive leadership. It is the one factor that will make you different for your professional career. After 33 years, every time I say, what was it again that this INSEAD MBA made different? Why are you successful? Inclusive leadership. Now, that was my professional recommendation. And then I have an invitation. It's been mentioned also by Urs and Ilian. And I'm going to give a bit of flavor how it affected my life. So INSEAD is a fantastic place to keep on learning. What happens is that you will join companies, organizations, and you will have company training. That's fine. You need to do company training. But company trainings are organized for companies, by companies, with a clear purpose. I decided to do my training also continuously in INSEAD, not because my companies were not training me well, because I wanted to create the options I wanted to develop that are maybe not always aligned with the companies I was working for. So training in INSEAD is a great complement to company trainings, and it responds to your personal choice. Now, what is particular is that, luckily, I had the courage to keep on learning in 33 years, and I have news, it's not stopping, and I'm not stopping yet. So INSEAD is a great place to keep on learning. As you can hear, I did my MBA. I did various six or seven very fundamental trainings as a top leader. And then at the end, I qualified myself to be a professional board member. Second is networking. I have super news for you. I still remember coming out of INSEAD, going to Brussels to the Association of the Alumni, feeling very happy. My mentor was there too, an MBA from 63. And then in 1992, I moved to Spain uh, for work. And then I was part of the creation of the National Association in Spain, which allowed me to feel welcome uh, with the Spanish alumni. 97, back to Belgium in 2000. I still remember going to Tokyo with the family. And I was invited by the Tokyo Association to a Christmas party in the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo. And what a way to enter a country. And now I'm partially actually moving to Singapore and the National Association in Singapore is slowly becoming my new home also. The networking in SEAD is priceless, the associations. But I'm also part of, you have clubs. And as you can hear, I'm passionate about inclusive leadership. And if we can't include women in leadership, who can we then include? So let's start with the most important one, which is women. And our, our female, the female sorority of the INSEAD alumni always said, let's get moving and let's make sure that all our alumni are really well trained in making sure in the organizations they lead, they create a gender balance. So I joined the Women in Business Club. And you know, it's a great journey, but also fantastic networking because you meet amazing colleagues. Thirdly, friendship. You know, we all go through life and uh, kind of go like, okay, secondary school, university, MBA, INSEAD. Actually, as of today, I realized that I've been parting with more MBA alumni than with my own friends. And, you know, enjoy the friendship. It's a fantastic opportunity to keep on building friendships across the globe. Last but not least, but very importantly, we're talking business as a force for good. 
Um, so for me, it has been these first three things, learning, networking, friendships were quite normal. But what was very special is that as you grow in your professional life, you start asking yourself the question, what is it that drives me? Is it profit of the company? Is it my colleague consultants being happy? Is it uh, the society in which I live? And what I discovered is that when Ilian started business as a, a force for good, actually the school opened a number of options that allowed me to reflect on, is there some purpose that I can find in the school that sticks close to me? And it did. Now, on the other hand, it's clear that from day one, I was associated with the INSEA Gender Initiative, tremendously learnful, but also impact creation. Um, I still remember how amongst alumni, we started reflecting on, is there a way that we can support the school in a different, then we started thinking about the Giving Day. And the Giving Day was born by a number of alumni. And before we knew between Beirut and Brussels and London and Singapore, we were organizing the first INSEAD Giving Day. And you know, it's, it's very entrepreneurial amongst ourselves. But it gave me a good feeling to do as an alumni to contribute to that. Business as a force for good, the campaign, the fundraising campaign, I've been delighted to be part of the board, focusing on, on my geography to make sure that we not only make INSEAD a success in terms of how they compete, but that we can provide all of us together the financial means to the school. That means that in 50 years from now, we're still a leading institution in the world. So make your choice. And now, by the way, Sharon is not here, Sharon Brooks, but you know, since Sharon came on board, I'm spending you know, I'm a little bit more advanced in my career. I've decided that I will not work on Fridays. So the Fridays are dedicated to the school. And on Fridays, Sharon and I work together on diversity, equity, and inclusion. How to make that very present in the school. So to conclude, I would say, be proud about what you accomplished family members here present, you know, the MBA graduates have the right to be proud. It's a happy day in their lives. Be good at what you're going to do. Act as inclusive leaders. Engage with the INSEAD community. Be thankful and generous to all the people who in the future will care for you. And most of all, enjoy life. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dirk. Six C's. You're getting more than a graduation. You're getting a lecture information here.